We've been hearing a lot of news about Edward Snowden, the whistleblower who previously worked for the CIA and was a contractor to the NSA, who released a lot of their information. You may think he's a hero. You may think that he's a traitor. I have my own opinions, but Glenn Greenwald recently told, uh, released details about his conversation with him, and it reaffirmed our knowledge that Edward Snowden is a huge geek. So basically what Glenn Greenwald said was that Snowden sort of sees himself as a protagonist of a video game and in the way that most protagonists start out as kind of a, a normal guy, sees an injustice and has to do something about it. Yeah, it's a common theme in not only video games but movies and television. Mm -hmm. You've got your outcast, you have your giant unassailable either organization or villain or what have you and somehow you overcome it. You mm -hmm. see your social injustice and by means of empowering yourself or subterfuge or however you want, you defeat the villain. In this case, but the villain is... But he gave the specific example of video games. That he did. Um, he told, well, this is, this is from Glenn Greenwald. I don't know exactly what he said. It's all about figuring out ways to empower yourself as an ordinary person to take on powerful forces in a way that allows you to under mind them in a pursuit of some public good, even if it's really risky or dangerous. That moral narrative at the heart of video games was part of his predilescence and formed part of his moral understanding of the world and one's obligation as an individual. And yes, you, if you think about it, many, many video games, especially uh, action-adventure games, start out this way, with some guy, doesn't really care, he's part of the system, and something happens that galvanizes him to help with the greater good. It's generally not a selfish thing that he does. It's generally to save the world, so to say. Yeah, the hero doesn't usually run to Russia, though. I'm just, that's where he has asylum right now. That is. I disagree that with is. that, that and he's they are, a Russian sympathizer, but. Well, if you're, all I'm saying is uh, if you're going to uh, be mad at surveillance and then you run to Russia and hang there for a bit, I don't know what video game that's from, well, but I think, I think Edward Snowden is fortunate that he lives in the information age. Mm -hmm. If this was 200 years ago, the textbooks might remember him as a traitor. Um, I think the public at large has made their own judgments about Edward Snowden, and he will be remembered as a hero. But I mean, um, yeah, well, you know, history is written by the victors, as they say. So there's many things that could be uh, more objective, could because they're subjectively written. I don't think he's a villain either. I, I, I think it's interesting that he chose a video game uh, hero in particular instead of a movie hero or a book hero. It kind of, it's kind of endearing to me. That's, that's, that's really all, all I wanted to say, Tim. Okay. <laughs> all right, what do you think of Edward Snowden's position as possibly being a video game hero? Uh, let us know what you think about that below in the comments and please be sure to subscribe.